We just caught chickens and I took you guys along for the ride as much as I could. and welcome to the farm and pastor's wife y'all think i look bad now just wait you ain't seen nothing yet today is sale day well actually it'll be sale day in the wee hours of the morning but we have to start doing things now we've had to cut the feed off and let them eat out all the feed that's in the house so um that's what we're doing we're over here cutting the feed off and then I like to have some drinks in the refrigerator because you get hot, you get tired, you get worn out. And so as soon as he cuts the feed off here, they still have feed, but it's the system is not filling them back up. So they have the rest of the evening to eat out the feed that's in their pans. So um, we're going to go get some snacks. As soon as he's done set, um, cutting the feed off, we're going to go get some snacks. We're gonna come back and stick them in the refrigerator. And, um, and then we may go home and get a little bit of a nap before we come over here and the real work begins. So um, that's what we're doing. Thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Stay tuned and I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to video because it's work, work, work and we work really fast. So I'm gonna try to make this video and make it as easy as possible. Are you coming or are you gonna keep talking? What do you need me for? To shut this feed off. You can shut the, he can shut the feed off. He doesn't need me to shut the feed off. Oh, he wants me to film it. Yes, this is good. Hang on. These are our feed bins. How much do they hold? Uh, 30,000 pounds each. Each bin holds 30,000 and then each house has two bins. So 60,000. 6,000 pounds, 30,000 tons. You, I'll let no, you explain this. 30 tons. He don't know. Yep, 30 tons. 30 tons. All right, so. what I'm doing is I'm shutting this off right here because this white line pulls the feed into the chicken houses, okay? You can see it, watch it. We'll follow it up and it goes into the house there and there's hoppers inside the house that yep. it. And so what I'm doing here is this is how I shut the feed off from going in the house. See that little slide right there? take that little slide and you slide it shut. So that stops the feed from falling into the white tubing. All right, bring them in here and we'll show them how we run it. And then what I do is I flip a switch right here just to turn them on and run all the feed out of that line. And so that's what I do right there. I don't know if you can hear. I oh, can't hear. Anyway, the feed started. So they're getting their last bit of feed. Before they head to town. Before they head to town. the plant. <laughs> okay, guys. I told you it gets worse. And it does. Hey, watch this. Even worse than this. scary sight huh okay so we're going to go on in the chicken houses the feed hoppers need to come down we need to pull those out and set those outside so we can raise the feed lines all the way to the top to the ceiling so my job is to go in here and, and um, dismantle or take apart the hoppers and bring them outside all right guys here's a little uh, tidbit information so some of you may not know. I don't know what she's told you so far, but it's almost midnight here. We're just getting started. This is our first house. We're gonna be here about 1.30 to actually pick these birds up and take them uh, to the processing plant. And so they've been eating the feeds out of the pan and you give them about two to three hours after that so that the uh, food can get through their digestive system. Each one of these feed lines, there's four different feed lines in each house 
and there's actually uh, eight different water lines in each house. They have what's called a uh, turnbuckle in the, in the ceiling, which this hook on this drill hooks in that turnbuckle. And I squeeze the trigger on this drill and it raises the equipment up off the floor uh, and then runs everything up to the ceiling. So that's just part of the, the we call it the selling process. We don't sell them because we don't own them, but it's just what it's called. So. Uh, there's a lot of running equipment up and picking up any birds that have expired or anything like that. So that's what we're getting to head into the house. To okay, guys, here are the hoppers that I just took down. Uh, they're upside down. We bring them outside and send them. But flipped over, it's kind of like a cone shape, and the feed is held in that and then dispersed down the feed line. Uh, we also have these windows that we have to close. Did you close all your windows? <laughs> anyway and we have to close these windows um, because the birds need to be in complete darkness it just makes them easier to catch and it makes it easier on our catchers speaking of the catchers let's go see if they're here and what they're up to uh, I know you can't see but those lights right there are on a tractor trailer truck that is full of cages that the catch team will bring and place on uh, they'll take each cage in <laughs> actually take several in at a time fill them up with our chickens bring them back out load them back on the truck the crew the catch crew comes in on a van and it's parked up there um, I don't think the forklift is here yet That's is fine. it they also bring another truck with the forklift and equipment on that they need and big fans to keep the chickens cool and comfortable. We believe that the forklift driver has arrived. As you can see, here comes another tractor trailer. Yep, that is the forklift and the cages and the fans that they use to catch our chickens. And another catch truck has arrived. So we have this truck right here, one in front of us, and then the one with the forklift on it. It's getting real. They've just gone in with the forklift with several cages. And they'll be and he dropped them off. <laughs> and they'll start these fellas going in are gonna go in and catch each bird by hand. About eight employees. They have about eight in the crew that catches and they'll catch them all by hand. Twenty three thousand per house. Yes, there's twenty three thousand chickens per house. And these men Work, hard. work so hard and they catch these all by hand they'll pick up like five at a time and gently put in these cages and um, come back out and load them back out on the truck it takes about five tractor trailers completely full of these cages to catch one house. They've already caught those chickens. Look how fast and efficient these guys are. And he loads it right back on the tractor trailer. While he's there, he gets another cage. takes it down, waits for the other forklift driver, or moves out of his way sort of once he gets in the house. Oh, they're just running one? Oh, sorry. Usually there's two forklifts, but once they get a third. Bryant said there's just one. When they get the front third caught, they'll run the second. So he laid it down, now he's going back to get the full cages. 
Y'all, they've got this down. They could probably do this in their sleep. There comes more chickens. And these chickens will soon be at a grocery store near you or a Costco near you. Starting house number two. I'm going in. Okay, y'all, we got over here. What time did we get here? Um, Around midnight? 11.15. 11.15. We got here at 11.15. Anyway, and it is now 2.56. We are completed with our part of our job in house one and in house two. The catchers are almost finished in house one and they'll fix to move to house two. It is now three o'clock a.m. And it's the time we get to uh, indulge. <laughs> <laughs> we get to indulge in a little snack. We'll come in here, wash our hands up real good and um, take a quick little break. So that's where we're at. But will my break actually be a break? I say probably not. I will get me a little snack and then I'll start stringing beans. But, or I may just let them wait till the mar till I get home and wake up from my nap. Anyway, so y'all, we're going to take a quick break and then we're moving on to house three and house four. Y'all, I, I brought y'all with me. Y'all see me at home. You see me cook. You see us in our ministries. It's on our way to church. You see and, and occasionally you've seen me here on the farm, but this is not where I fix up. This is not where I put makeup on. This is, um, but this is the part of our life that the Lord blessed us with. Um, and um, it's a huge, huge, huge part of our life. So I wanted to bring you guys in because I'm, I'm bringing you in with our, on, our, on our lives, in our lives. So you can see a little bit um but this this is what financially supports our family what else you want to say about it uh, look how dirty <laughs> this is where we love each other even when we stink and when we're dirty and, and let me tell you we're reeking bad it, this is not a glamorous job at all it is a stinky smelly dirty job dirty job so you know we need to have that guy that does dirty jobs come but anyway i'm going to stop and get a little snack and um then we're going to head to house three and four well guys we had to make a coffee run so we were starting to fade fast as you guys can see it is now daylight it is 6 50 in the morning almost seven o'clock we are, um, everything is completed in house four and almost completed in house three. We just got to put the water lines up and the water tubes down. <laughs> if I ever do a setup video, I'll explain the water lines and water tubes. But so there's where we are. They're still loading. Um, I think they've started in house four. We went ahead and went to house four because um, all the feed pans were completely empty in four and three still had a little bit. So we want them to eat as long as they can. Um, so we had the catchers go to house four and then back they'll go back to house three. So that's where we are right now. I'm fixing to go in here and finish the water lines in three. Okay guys, so I am back in the office looking rough as a cob. It is 7.20. We have just fully completed house three and four. They are done as far as we're concerned. The catchers are in four and then they'll go over to three. We had them, like I explained earlier, we had them skip three initially because there was still some feed. So once they finish four, they'll go back to three. Um, we go through three different crews here on our farm usually um, because they only let them catch so many before they have to rest. Um, 
and just like we've been here all night some of the crews have been here all night and I don't know if they you know how many farms they visit I don't know that but anyway um, so we have a third crew coming for house five and six now there's a little bit of a lull between the time that they get here they're catching house three at 8 30 and then they don't catch house five until 12 30 and they don't catch six till 2 30 p.m p.m so um i do have a few hours i'm not gonna go home because i don't like to be in my house stinking like i smell and i smell really bad it's not me it's that chicken smell <laughs> and um so I don't want to sit in my furniture and have that on but and there's no need to take a shower because I'm gonna have to come right back over here so I'm just gonna take a extended break here in the office I'm gonna make my grocery list for the beach um, and indulge on that couch just a little bit and get me a little bit of shut eye I need to go to Sam's this afternoon, so I need to take me a nap so that once I get home and I shower, I don't collapse on the couch like I normally do. So, it's another Mountain Dew time. <laughs> Coffee's gone. Um, let's see what else I can tell you. In the summer, they blow fans when they bring the chickens out and put them on the truck they keep they are very conscious of keeping these chickens comfortable and um so they blow fans on them and if it's really hot which it is today they have a water sprayer that they spray them down to keep them cool uh for some reason we have power we have enough power but for some reason we cannot figure it out because we've had electricians come out here and check we've got enough voltage or wattage or whatever it is um but for some reason when they plug up their pump that pumps water their fans do fine but when they plug up their pump to do water it the power shuts off, or there's not enough power out there it's like that outlet's dead but then when you test it if you have a tester it's fine it's the craziest thing nobody can figure it out so we have a generator that we plug up out there not plug up but we crank up out there so i had to go make a run to get fuel for the generator and um you may be asking about the windows i said we have to close the windows and you may be asking why do chicken houses have windows not all chicken houses have windows our chickens are organic chickens therefore they are entitled or supposed to have so much sunlight we have little doors on their level with little ramps <clears throat> that when the temperature is in the correct range and they are fully feathered we have to allow them access to outside and we have outside fences as well that keep them contained should they go out so um, that is why we have windows and that's why we have to shut our windows because um, we keep them open so they can have sunlight because that makes for a happy chicken the experts say the people who've studied this <laughs> say that sunlight makes a happy chicken it makes me happy so i can imagine i can't stand to be in my house well i don't even have blinds in my house if you've ever noticed i do not have a blind number one now i want them in my bedroom because i get tired of dressing and undressing in the dark <laughs> i've come out with some crazy stuff dressing in the dark but um so i do want them in my bedroom only for that reason to dress but otherwise I have windows wide open because light makes me happy so I can see where they say that makes a chicken happy so I don't know if I've answered all your questions about chickens um, and our type of chicken if you have any questions put them in the link down below leave me a comment 
and I'll be glad to answer them as best I can. Um, but right now, I'm tired. I'm going to take me a little nap. <laughs> and y'all do not want to smell me right now because it is not pretty. Um, I'm looking rough. And y'all, the re one reason I'm letting my hair grow out is for days like this. It's just so much easier to put it in a ponytail. It's not quite there yet. I can't quite get it in a ponytail. Yeah, so I'll wear my do-rag. <laughs> I, I bring a clip, so because I can't stand the do-rag on when I'm not in there working. Somebody knocked. But when I'm in there working, I want my do-rag on. And... I think they're in here catching chickens. I think that's what I'm hearing. Anyway, and so when I come back in the office to take a break, I'll try to clip my hair up because I can't stand it in my face. But, anyway, nap time. Bye, y'all. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but I am um, doing this from inside the truck. But there's a man on the other side of that truck spraying those chickens with water and um, keeping them cool. He was over here a few minutes ago spraying them down. So he's going over to the other side keeping them cool. I have never seen an operation that takes such good care of their chickens and um, it's just a great, a great crew, a great company to work for. So, anyway, I'm going to head home for a little bit. I wanted you to see. Y'all, my sweet and precious husband came in there as I was uh, napping for a little bit on the couch in the office. My sweet husband came in there and said, Honey, why don't you go home? And um, I was like, No, we still have two houses to do. And... Um, he said, no, me and Keaton, Keaton is a young gentleman who we um, hired, and he showed up about 6 o'clock this morning, and we were really ahead all night long, and anyway, and so while I was napping, they had already gone ahead and tore down the hoppers and um, stuff. He said, why don't you go on home? And that's sweet. Y'all, that, that was just made my day, so I'm headed home to get in the shower. Um, hopefully I can be awake to snap beans because Brian's going to um, go with me when he gets home and showered. He's going to go with me to Sam's. So I'm going to work on vacation stuff. Isaac's sweet girlfriend is here working in the garden. And um, so, yep. I'm going to go check on her then I'm going to go get in the shower. Chicken catching is over, and this is what we do in the middle of the day when we're done. Night. <laughs>